I know y'all ain't discouraged yet, are y'all? Y'all better be encouraged. Welcome to another day of our challenge. guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new if you are new go down in that subscribe area where it says subscribe and hit that button okay to become part of this family also you guys do not hesitate to leave a thumbs up on this video and also get in the comments we need to com converse okay communicate with each other okay <laughs> anyway you guys today I'm starting this um, video off late because I literally I told you guys in yesterday yesterday's video I think I told you guys in yesterday's video Video that I'm doing a couple of days of just just pure juicing okay so I'm gonna show you guys the juice that I'm getting ready to have but I've been juicing all freaking day you guys look that time never pay attention to that clock on my wall at the time okay because sometimes I might be like oh I'm about to break my fast or I'm about to like eat my last meal and I think it's say do it say 11 some on here I don't know but it's no batteries in there so never pay attention to that thing okay I well the battery is in there but it died I just needed to say that because when I'm watching videos I pay attention to every detail and I will be like she say she fasting but that time say something else over there all right so y'all don't pay attention to that but anyway what I was going to say is if you are on any type of health journey cleanse journey or anything I encourage you to try to juice a couple of days out the month okay it's super good for your body it gives your body time to just heal and detox and just all type of good stuff going when you juice so you guys should just try juice and I encourage you to do it if you are on any type of um, cleanse or detox situation or just want to lose some weight okay because you drop some pounds when you juice too okay that water weight just start falling off real quick so for my green juice I'm just making it super simple I'm putting some spinach ginger um, lemon lime blueberries and kale and I'm about to make a beautiful healthy juice here you have a beautiful green juice y'all y'all mm. sleep on these green juices if y'all want to i'm telling you it's so good for you it's so good for you y'all i cannot begin to tell y'all how good i feel after juicing for these couple of days it feels amazing okay um i'm ripping this paper off my water but i wanted to just um talk about a couple things before i ended out this video and one of the things is this paper is so like stuck to my hand it's crazy but one of the things is um i've been seeing some people this I, it been talks about this in my comments yappity yapping since like last month or whatever but i just never addressed it but now that we doing i'm doing daily videos with you guys and we converse and i might as well address it but i've seen people say oh you yo-yo diet and all of the different methods you use you put weight on and put weight up high because see how you can't keep the weight on and i don't want to dive too much into negativity but what i do want to say is I'm a woman. I'm a human being and I can admit in the past um, when I first started this journey I did gain I mean I did lose weight and I did regain it back but it was because I was learning myself and a lot of people need to understand throughout weight loss journeys you will be you will learn yourself you will and sometimes you might eat a bunch of food and gain weight back and sometimes you might not it just depends it's just up to you and it's on you it's on your mind it's on your heart it's, it just depends on the individual that was in the past though but now i consider a yo-yo dieter a person who lose weight you will lose 30 pounds gain the 30 back lose it again gain the 30 back okay these 10 pounds or so i'm losing and gaining for these videos for you guys just to show you guys different methods that you can gain weight and lose weight and different things like that that's nothing as i said in videos before i'm super nonchalant when it comes down to losing weight now because i know i could do it like that and i know i could put on weight like that so I'm not even tripping but I did want to um, express it for some people who probably think in a position that I am if they gain five pounds lose it you can gain five pounds getting up in the morning okay if you haven't took a morning crap 
you, you can be five pounds up than what you was last night. You can eat some for some food and be 10 pounds up from water weight. Your body, that's why it's not good to always rely on the scale. <laughs> the scale, sometimes the scale is not always on point, okay? It's not always on point. That's why I don't let the scale encourage me. I don't let the scale discourage me. I go off a pile of my body feeling. Let me not lie. Sometimes um, in times past, I did let it discourage and encourage me. So um, I'm not going to even go there and lie. But um, yeah, you can lose and gain weight and different things like that. Easy peasy. But I did want to let people know who are in my position, who might gain and lose weight super fast. Don't let that discourage you and nobody think, I mean, make you think that you're a yo-yo dieter. That's not what yo-yoing is, okay? So for those of you who was in my comments doing all this, all this yapping, chow, please, zip them lips, okay? Zip them lips. My methods that I use, my water is dropping, my methods that I use for weight loss have been tried and true, okay? And it's no denying that a lot of you guys see my whole weight loss journey. You cannot deny Keisha has lost the weight. Keisha is doing good when it comes down to health and fitness. Nobody can lie when it comes down to that, all right? And um, I'm not going to get too much into that boasting on that stuff because I want all of us to be able to lose weight. I want all of us to be able to get where we want to be health-wise and um, fitness wise so that's not what this video is about but what I did want to talk to you guys about is um got a burp <laughs> Ooh, oh my god girl but anyway what I did want to talk to you guys about is I'm not fully vegan I'm not 100% vegan and I just wanted to blurt that out there because in some of my videos too that sounds crazy but understand just listen bring it back bring it back for a second and listen to me Linda okay so with um, a lot of my videos, different things I promote in with the Summer's Eve, for example, that's a prime example. Some people were saying it's some type of bones in there or something like that with that Summer's Eve video. And if you don't know what it is, it's my fitness video um, from a while back. I'll link it down below. But they were saying it's bones in there and stuff like that. Understand this. I eat 100% vegan. 100% vegan, I eat it, but I'm not a full vegan. There's layers to veganism, okay? You have your vegans who eat vegan for health purposes, which that's me, and then you have your vegans who are vegan to the bone, down to the bone, who don't um, touch any leather, who don't touch any fur, who don't touch any of this, who won't eat off of products that has been processed in the same facility that eggs and cheese and stuff like that has been processed in that's not me okay i'm not that vegan i'm not 100 vegan to the bone i do this because i know when it come down to health when it come down to blood pressure and diabetes and all of that veganism is the way to go so i am in it for my health not for reasons of you know just oh kumbaya i love the animals which i have a cat i love animals but i don't i'm not I'm not just a, I'm not, I honestly, I'm not a hardcore animal lover like that, okay? Um, animals are beautiful and they are needed on this earth. I do not recommend killing, eating them and stuff like that. And I do stay away from stuff as much as I can. But if I see a leather coat in my closet that I had from years ago and it's cold outside and I'm thinking, okay, it's cold outside. Am I going to wear this leather coat or am I going to think about the animal that I slain over this leather coat? Do I freeze? or do I think about the animal what am I gonna do I'm gonna throw that coat on and I'm gonna save my life okay that's what I'm saying okay I'm not gonna just go out and buy a bunch of stuff that I know was made with you know animals and all of that stuff you know knowingly but if I don't know something and I'm not gonna waste a button I'm, I'm not gonna say waste okay but I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time like educating myself about where it was made at what's going on unless it's something where you know human beings were um treated wrongly or anything like that and even that honestly I feel like I'm a hypocrite in a way because I would say I'm not going to waste I'm not going to spend time thinking about I mean you know researching what animal was hurt in the process but I will research and find out what if a human being was hurt in the process that's even hypocritical but I'm being honest with you guys I'm letting you guys know how I really feel I'm a hypocrite okay and I'll admit that that's fine but I'd rather be honest with you guys than to tell you guys 
some lie and be like, yes, I'm 100% vegan and this sweater is just vegan. Yeah, I love wearing vegan stuff, but this sweater, I don't know where it was made at. I don't know what, you know, what went into the process. I don't know if a uh, egg is in this sweater, <laughs> chicken is not I don't know. But what I'm saying is, I recommend veganism and I am vegan for the um, for the simple fact that it I know that it's the healthiest way to go when it comes down to your body we should not be consuming meat and different things like that and for some people it's a process so if you eat meat if you eat cheese if you eat stuff I'm not judging you okay y'all already know in my household my husband and two of my kids eat still eat animal products from time to time so i'm not here to judge you and i'm not gonna be that rah-rah vegan with a pitchfork at your throat because you're not eating vegan that's just not me and that will never be me i understand okay i understand because honestly if it wasn't for me having migraines in the beginning of my um vegan journey years years ago i was how old was i about 17 18 probably 19. I'm not sure how old I was. I was in my teens though when I first became vegan. But if I didn't get those headaches at first, I, I don't know if I would be even vegan now. I'm not sure, but I'm glad I am. I'm glad it did happen that way. And I'm super thankful because it, it taught me a lot along the way. It helped me with my blood pressure. It helped me with my health. It helped me to spread the vegan message and just different things like that. So that's what I wanted to break down. So if you see me promoting something, don't be like, Keisha, that's not 100% vegan unless it's food. But understand, with my food, I do extensive research. I know when I'm putting something in my body that's not vegan. I don't even put nothing in my body that say may contain or maybe this or maybe that. No, I'm not maybe nothing, okay? It's either vegan or it ain't. So, um, yeah, I got some hypocritical ways in me, but that's okay. I'm a human being and I'm allowed to do that, all right? And if you have a problem with it, move to the left. That's it, all right? And um, yeah, that's it. I, I don't want to drag this on even more than I have to, I, but I just, I did want to break that down to you. So if you see me promoting some stuff, some clothes or something that might not be vegan, don't rah-rah pitch for it me because I am i didn't put that out there, okay? That's why I'm putting this title, I am not fully vegan or something to that level to catch people's attention, all right? But I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, thumbs this video up. Leave comments in the comments below. Leave some hearts down below. Leave some comments down below. Are you fully vegan? Are you not fully vegan? Are you working on becoming a full vegan? And I'm talking about vegan to the bone 100%. Let me know what's your thoughts in the comments below. I want to know your thoughts. That's fine. Long as you can keep it civil. Put your comments down. Put your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll read them and we can converse and you know I'll reply to you and heart your comment and different things like that and thumbs it up all right follow me did I just say follow me on Instagram and Snapchat yeah, I think I did but if I didn't follow me on Instagram and Snapchat thumbs this video up comment down below and I'll see y'all in another video tomorrow I'll be right here at your computer screen on your phone saying what's up girl hey good morning okay <laughs> if you fall get back up today okay what well, I said if you fall get back up today if you fall and it's nighttime, get back up tomorrow. If you fall and it's still daytime, get back up in a second. And the next second that you fall, get back up, all right? Y'all get what I'm saying, okay? I'll see you on the next video next time, all right? Love you guys and bye, because I was about to keep talking. Bye, family. Mwah.